But today I am going to show you one of my examples from the very beginning and with also how we designed the survey. So let's go back to our survey. So now we are studying something called com competitiveness of autonomous container ships in the Arctic route. So we have some alternatives, autonomous shipping categories, and we have some criteria which should be considered for Arctic route, okay? So here you can see how we designed our survey. We are asking the respondents about where they're from, their affiliation, their years of experience, their area of expertise, their highest degree. Then we also ask them how much they know about Arctic shipping, how much they know about autonomous shipping, how much they know about maritime industry. These information are screening information, okay, up to this point. We are not really going to use it for analysis in the uh, analysis of the data, but normally we present this information in the study to show that our respondent, our sample is valid and reliable, okay. And then we defined the uh, defined the eight criteria. So we actually came up with these criteria based on literature review. So we define them so that our respondents know what they are actually looking into. So here you see, first they have to select the best one. Okay, so they select one of them. And then you compare the best one with others. Okay, how much uh, of importance it is compared to other criteria. So for instance, if I choose like, let's say cost effectiveness is the best one, then first of all, it will be one because it is the same. So it should be one. And then others, they can be more or less, yeah, others can vary and yeah, anyway, I'm just filling it up for like with no real value, but it's just for fun, right? And then you choose the worst one. Let's say the worst one is, I don't know, maybe let's say the least important one could be maybe, maybe this one, I don't know. Okay, so let's just select this one and then it will have the same, it will have equal importance with itself. So it will be one, but others, they can vary. Okay, then the respondents, they feel this from their perspective, okay, what they think. And then, so this is the first part for looking into the importance of the criteria. But then we have a second part, which is about alternatives. And then this part helps us to, to kind of define the interaction between the criteria and alternatives and come to a priority for the alternatives. So here we are considering four alternatives, okay? Fully autonomous ships, semi-autonomous ships, vessel platooning, conventional ice class ship. So now, for each of these four criteria, all the respondents have to fill up the survey. Okay, how important it is. So they can give some values. So first it's for fully autonomous ships and then, yeah, it's just, I'm just filling it up randomly, but normally your respondent should do it uh, based on what they really think, okay, based on their real perception. And then for semi-autonomous ship, we do the same thing. For vessel platooning, we do the same thing. And for conventional ship, we do the same thing, okay? And that's it, that's our survey. We are done and then, okay. So now that we are done, we already have some responses. We have about 16 responses. So I'm going to download them, all of it, okay. So I have now downloaded it and I'm going to open it now. So actually the first three we have, they are pilot ones. They were pilot service, so we are not going to use them. So I'm going to hide or remove them. Mm -hmm.